This is a clinical trial. It's still in its early stages, but it has the potential of changing the way doctors fight cancer altogether. In many ways, Burham Oral is already a walking miracle. I asked right away to the doctor what's the pro pro uh, prognosis, and uh, she said six months, and uh, this was about 27, 28 months ago. In March 2011, Burham was diagnosed with a malignant brain tumor. His wife, Renee, walks on his left side because his tumor puts pressure on his optical point, blinding him in one eye. I had no other symptoms, no headache, no dizziness. They asked me all kinds of stuff. I had nothing. Burham is now part of a clinical trial that combines real-time MRI, guided technology, and gene therapy. This trial is the first of its kind in Southern California and one of only three trials happening in the world. They drill a hole from top of my head about a quarter size and and then they, they went through with the tube and injected inside the cancer tumor, the virus. In this trial, doctors implant the tokogen virus inside the cancer tumor. The virus spreads through the tumor, okay. and then an antifungal medicine is injected into the virus that kills only the cancer cells. Unlike chemotherapy, it leaves healthy cells intact. It's a method called suicide gene therapy. The virus incorporates into the tumor DNA and makes this suicide gene. And so when we give the antifungal drug, only those cells that have the suicide gene will convert the antifungal drug into chemotherapy and deliver chemotherapy just right to the tumor. UCSD's Dr. David Piccioni says this treatment could prolong patients' lives and possibly one day be curative. This virus is designed to infect tumor cells and spread to other tumor cells. So in theory, it can spread and hunt down those, those stragglers or those survivors. I think if this works, this could fundamentally change everything that we do for brain cancers. Dr. Clark Chen is a neurosurgeon at UCSD. The video you're looking at was provided by UCSD's Moore's Cancer Center. It shows Dr. Chen performing the surgery on a patient last Saturday. The one message I would put out there is that we are developing innovative and groundbreaking technology that we hope will offer hope to our patients who are afflicted with this horrible disease. Hope for patients like Burham Oral, who can't help but smile when he talks about future possibilities. I feel I'm lucky and I, I feel like I'm the, one of the pioneers in this uh, find the cure for this cancer. Now there's still a way to go before this drug is FDA approved, but doctors working on the trial say so far they've seen very promising preliminary results. Tokogen is only being used to treat brain cancer now, but doctors there say they hope to use this technology to fight other cancers in the future. Jason, back to you. Great story, Megan. Very hopeful. Thank you.